Hi, hi guys, I'm, I'm, I'm as you can gather, night time. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I, as I mentioned in an earlier video, that I'm going to do carrots in egg cartons. Sorry about it. But I've got to do it very quick tomorrow. I'll just show you a picture. You should be able to see them. They've gone mad. Absolutely gone mad. So I'm going to probably put two in a Two in a hole when I do it tomorrow. I will. I think it was Jeff. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, it was John at plot 55. So yes, I'll show you tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will allow me. But this lot here have gone mad, and that's they were a 20 20p I think or something. It might have been 50p littles. They have that germinate, and I I. I have not done it this way before. I was told to do pierce the top, not too many holes, just to take the moisture out so they didn't rot and they have gone mad. So tomorrow's job is to crack on if I can. I'll show you when we start. Morning guys, Tuesday morning, about quarter eleven. We just got down here. We, If you look at the sky, we contemplate and I haven't been down. I think the last time I was down here was either Friday or Saturday. Uh, but uh, I've been wanting to come down, but as you know, I all have a, a bad ankle, and it has been bad. So I am going to today. I'm going to try. I've left them a little bit too late, but there should be some of them just cheered. Look at them. Here, oh, come and go in. You got to make sure you put your pointy end in. So I'm now going to try this in air cans. It's going to be a big experiment for me, but somebody has done it up on the. Uh, YouTube and that's where I've got the idea from all right right off we go all right guys I'll have to do the start again <sighs> camera's playing up today it's gonna be one of them days I seem to be everything electrical at the moment playing up with us all right yeah well, it was about 11 o'clock we've had a lovely weekend away I, I think I was up here either Friday or Saturday for a few hours but other than that I've had my grandson's birthday Saturday he was 15 Taller than me, make me feel old at do. Then I had family round for Easter Day dinner, which was nice. So that was another long day. Yesterday we tried to have a bit of rest, but we went out in the countryside with a dog. So I hope you all had a nice Easter with family, children, the lot. That's all about the children, bloody Easter eggs they have. And it's supposed to be bad for the teeth. So I'm now going to tell you what I'm doing. Here we are in line. I'm now, hopefully I've got enough egg cartons to go all the way along here. I've got some carrots, so yellow for, I think there's no spray about here hopefully. I've got some carrots which I've chitted on and I've allowed to get too big. So I've got to try and pick, look at them, the smaller ones out of them. I've got to drop them in the white end in in the egg carton. I'm now going to show you. Come on. All right, guys. As you can see, at the moment, oh, I don't know whether you've. Oh, I haven't filled the kettle up or nothing. All right, as you can see, my egg cartons. All right, there they. I'll just show you how this works first. I've got that. Oh God, dog. In compost. Right, this is what he said to do. You fill them up with compost. Moist compost. Right. And then, where's my dipper? Pops, where's my dipper gone? problem today. We're trying to do things. I've got some soup in there. I've got to look after the dog. Oh well, that's good. Be back in a You stay there.
Good girl. Good girl. Right, pups. Right, guys. Now then, this is what you're supposed to do. I had a dipper somewhere, but for some reason, it's gone walkies. Right. through the hole and then the hole will protect the weed right here's this lot which I've left too long it should have been done earlier but because I haven't been down here we had uh, you know what you do Easter weekend some have grown big to them. shut up Bobby come on sit down that's it come and look at me but you must that's it there's two there Poppy, <laughs> nose out and drop them in the hole. Ah, the seed is there. Just drop them in the hole. As I said, some of these are too leggy. But some of them are not over this side. Look, you see what I mean? That's still the, the seed is on it. You've got to drop them in the hole. They'll right themselves, apparently. And if this works, and you've got to put a little bit of compost on top. twist and to be quite honest I think they should have been done when the chip first came out and he said the chip must go down so I'm a bit late but you can see what the plan is and the idea of it is is to cause the compost underneath or the soil underneath as pain root will make it they should go in they shouldn't have no weeds around. Oh, there's a big bundle there. Look. They're, they're better ones because they've only got a small chip. Right, drop the chip in. It'll be very interesting because if it works, or if it, if it works in any sort of way, you can, by rights, do it with every, every time wherever you're putting them because I'm going to put some of these if I can get my wife oh shut up oi pack it up I told you I've got a baby yeah some of the chits are too long but I don't know whether we're recording or not here but I'm not going to worry too much about them because I can I did put quite a number in and uh my wife's made some homemade scones. I think she's eager to get the, the guys to say how lovely they are. <laughs> See, look after everybody up here, I tell you, bloody madness. Right, I'm going to do this last row. And then all that. See, there, are, there is a lot of small ones. Just chitting. That's fine, you're finding them. The ideal thing would be to these is just to farm them into a what's name? A container. But I think we'll see. We'll see what the success is going to be. That one has got to go down. See that one was just the seed alone, that one. Which that's what it should be. Just the seed and a chip. I'll show you. And get one out. Yeah, just becoming the seed. Good morning. Good morning. You have a nice Easter. There we go. Right, guys, I'll stop this. And I'll show you when I get through to it. Alright guys, it's uh, very fiddly because they're too long. I've left them too long. So what I'm going to do is just bunch them into a, a container and let them go. 
very fiddly. It should have been done when the, the seed just had a shoot out and dropped in. But if you look at all that lot, there's two trays there, two egg cans, which is, uh, what's that, 18 on an egg can? Six, 12, 18, 24, which is 48 carrots there. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna get two of these, green ones I'm going to put next to it, put holes in, compost in and then I'm going to drop a seed in and we'll see how we go. There's the experiment of the day. Right because I can't go on and put them out I'd be here for years putting them in like that and as I watched this guy and I think it's AG, AG something up there I watched him and he done a whole row and I just think it was a bloody hell. So That'll be it. Because now what I'm supposed to do, sprinkle over top. Oh stop Poppy. Right, then water in and leave. But what I'm gonna do with them two green ones, I'm now gonna fill them up with compost and drop a seed in each one. And then water and leave. Because actually if you think of it, I got 48 there, I think. Mean, it'd be another 48. I'll have so many carrots, it's ridiculous. But the rest will go in containers, like I always do. Right guys, as you can see, I'll have to take you off this lemon tripod. Right, sorry about that. Right, I'll put two or three in each hole so I can always fill them out easy enough. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they come out. Uh, my wife's made some homemade scones, she says his kettle is on. But that's that done. I'm now going to wake, wake a bit up for me, for me uh, potatoes. All right, guys. Blood fish and bone. Only a few chicken pellets. Not very many because they have a tendency they can burn on a potato. And a few uh, slug pellets in there. I'm now going to double roll them. And my phone's just packed up on me. Seriously, everything electrical is packing up at the moment. Right, I'll show you the end result. So I forgot to film when they're all in, but I'm going to tell you there's quite a few in there. There's two rows. They go alternate, so they go all the way along. And these are Picasso's. It's my main crop. And to be quite honest, I've never had a potato, a crop, which is so good. I'm still eating them now. And I had some fantastic jacket potatoes. So they store well. So that's one. Now there's a space, I'll get another one, then another one. I'm hoping to get four rolls of main crop. And then what I'll do is any tubs left, which I've got at home and up here, I'll fill up for an extra. I've uh, managed to find Glen, I, sorry mate, in New Zealand. I forgot. I forgot to get me, because I haven't been up here, my Atlantic uh, Alpine, and I'm now gonna get my water. I need to get the what's name Saturday. They, they seem to be taken away. But uh, carrots are taken in the tubs, look. I'm happy there. Got two tubs of carrots here. These should be flowers. So I only come up three days now at seven. I've had my neighbour up here. He's ranting and raving because someone's nicked one of his bloody fruit trees. Well, to be quite honest, this guy should have been thrown off. He actually should have been thrown off because he's not grown nothing. 80% of our plot should be turned over to vegetables and that. But they give him a lot of leeway. He's been strimming away. The grass is absolutely full of glass. Glass there, look. He's got to watch himself because he'll cut his bloody leg off. Oh, look at this. Then he put the barrel on the blooming path. So that's got been moved there. We've got the bottom weeds and the flowers. Alright guys, uh, put some carrots in there, carrot seeds. The last what was in my packet. I now need to get a, a funnel from a watering can for down there. Garlic, the elephant garlic's coming through. And some of these, if you remember, they're chips. You know, I had elephant garlic and it didn't break. It didn't go in the cloves and they, uh, I, I rotate them. So I put them in and they're coming back. So we'll see how we go. 
I don't see them. Well, I have actually. I've got something in the first row down that end, but I've had cats everywhere. Look, and cats digging holes everywhere. So I'm going to have to get more more scarers. I think what I'll do is I'll chip, chip some more parsnips for later. I think my wife's now going to have a cup of tea when Jack's just arrived, so we're going to have a cup of him. She's uh, she's uh, determined to make. Well, I've got to do less. I've been told. Uh, don't like seeing yellow tops because normally that means there's a there's a, a weed killer about spray. These are uh, cabbages, dams, romanticus. I've got sprouts to go in on all that end. But that's for another day. We're supposed to have rain every day this week. Right, guys. I'm just sure. Oh dear, I forgot about this in the morning. It's getting old, getting old, and getting forgetful, guys. Something's been eating it. Oh, well, you can see what's been eating it. Put them back in there. And red cabbages, I think. Well, they're definitely not romanticals, but I don't need them more, so cool barbie I do like. I do, but nobody else do. I don't know, I don't know why. I think we've got to get some water in here. Stay there, guys. Now, look. See the snails? I've got slug pellets everywhere. Right. Garlic seems to be okay at the moment. It's been left alone by the... Uh, snails and stuff and the cat hasn't got back in there because I saw what all that's about but I did have some beetroot and the beetroot was not really taken so I'm now going to go and take that this is an Amazon water can as you see it breaking up I've got another one somewhere right up we go. you can remember I hand weeded that one day right the way through three weeds have come back and I push pull this and there and then look at the moon started to come back Oh, I don't know. If you know this, guys, my wife weeded this for me the other day and then she watered it afterwards and now look at the weeds what come out of the water. Dreadful, isn't it? They're spare potatoes, I'll put them somewhere. Radishes, lettuces are looking good. Look, uh, Ellsberg. I tell you what, we're over one with slugs and snails this year, everywhere. Oh, mustn't forget my hat. I'm having a cup of a jack. I've just. Uh, Watered all that there. I was hoping it was going to pour it down. Look at that sky. I'll just put a weight on here because we had some wind the other day and it blew the bloomin' top up. So that's that sort. So to be quite honest, it doesn't take long for me to get to grips. And the, the beauty of it is, when my wife's with me, because she's the one who's making the tea, I don't have to stop and do it. I, I think... I think if you can faintly see, I've got two rows of parsnips here. This one has come through here, and then the cats have come and dug into it. This one looks like it hasn't. Then I've got a uh, swede. Look like they're popped through swede. And I've got turnips. Ooh. So, but look at the weeds. As soon as you do anything, the water up here. I'm going to perhaps put a net across the top of the water barrel. Might be, might prevent some of the weeds. You know, my onions are looking good. They're coming along. Oh, yeah, that experiment. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put the link up there. I'll put the link up and you see what he's done. And he's done a whole row of them. And it's a hell of a lot of carrots. I know it's handy to have carrots because if they freeze well. Oh. Look at them. Here we are. Look, look, this is what happened here. This is bloody what happened. Right, guys. We're off now. We're now going to take the dog out before it rains. I've got an armful of uh, strawberries runners. I'm going to take them and pot on and uh, try and replace a few of the others. So, hope you've all had a good weekend and you're back to work and you're <laughs> nice and happy, black. I was going to throw it down on us. We're apparently in for days of it. Old well, Jack is trying to get things done very slowly. He's got trouble with a leg. Uh, deep pain from boosters, I believe. Right, that's uh, leave that old mill. That's that one done. Watered up the carrots. Watered up my alpine strawberries. 
Right guys, there we go. So all of you, stay safe. Be happy. Bye for now.